This is a video showing the folding process for a parabola which I designed. So we start with a pleat field. Just sort of doesn't really matter how big the pleat field is, we can have more pleats off to the side. I'm just using this as an example. First we make a pleat, creasing only near the edge. And then pull out that paper there and reform this side. And that creates an extra fold here. And it'll create a couple extra folds up here, which will be defined by the ratio of this pleat to this pleat. So I take everything and push it down here making sure that I use the existing pleat that we just made as a reference. Then I take this and I fold it a little bit, not all the way, so that it lays flat. Then I take it and I fold it down again so that it lays flat. So I'm just going to flatten everything. That creates a one pleat intersection right here. And what we want to do is we want to take the next pleat, which goes here and underneath, you see, and down here. We want to turn that into another pleat intersection, intersecting with this pleat here. So again, we take it, we pull it out, and reform these two pleats. and put in the resultant pleat. So now, one last pleat to go. So, you'll notice here, that at this point, it'll be useful to extend this crease so that it hits the next um, the next line, and then we fold the crease in there and flatten everything down. And there you have it. And then with a larger pleat field, you would keep repeating that process as long as you still had pleats, or until you reached the edge of the paper.